Hello everyone, this is Fixer, and I am on the Strangeland server. I am actually at my permanent base. If you saw my last video, you saw the giant structure jutted up in the middle of this area. The plains on one side and desert on the other. Got all my friends on the other uh, island type thing over there. And uh, I am here on this one. Give you a good look. That there is the ocean. So there's a savanna and a plains and a desert all meeting up right here. And what I plan on doing is I'll want to run a, a river from the ocean to my little pond which is right there. So maybe along the biome line here or maybe straight through the plains. I'm not sure. Look at this. I got little piggies up here. We are at uh, was it 185 and at the tip top it is 192. I don't think that side is taller. But 192 and we got three piggies up here somewhere. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put my my main base, my where I store all my goodies. I don't know. Up there, I've thought about right there. I don't know. This is a little too high. I want to be able to look out and and see stuff below and above. But what this is good for up here is a mob grinder. Oh, not good. Don't hit me. There we go. So, and if you notice the name Admiral Akbar, yes, I'm a Star Wars fan. I am um, naming my items after Star. My swords are all going to be other Star Wars characters. My first sword is going to begin with an A. Second one with B third C, etc. And so are all my uh, tools. So my bow, this is my first bow I crafted, Amadeus. I've repaired them once. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot because arrows are, are not terribly common yet. Not until after the grinder anyways. So um, this is my first bow. Uh, my second pick, Bricktop. I have repaired this guy quite a few times and this is probably it. He's, he's on his way out and if you Recognize the name Bricktop. That is uh, that is the old dude uh, from the movie Snatch. Uh, the guy that is uh, sweet enough. This is my third pick, uh, Clue from Tron, of course. Um, Silk Touch pick. My first pick I still use. It's a Fortune 3 pick named Amelie. And I keep that at home so I go out and about with my Silk Touch and bring the goodies back and, and then use Amelie on it. Uh, my axe is Agent Smith from The Matrix. This is my first diamond axe. And my shovel, it's a silk touch. This is actually my first shovel. I repaired it a couple times. Next time I repair it, I'm going to give it a name. Um, I'm not naming any of my, my armor, though. But anyways, uh, you'll see, see me uh, switching up uh, my weapons and whatnot, and you'll, you'll catch some new names here and there. Anyways... Uh, my mob grinder, uh, I want to do an elevated one at level 200, so we're only eight blocks away, which is great. And I generally like to do it like over an ocean um, and not by mountains because it relies on there being no other possible mob spawning areas. And if I put it up here, then... I'm going to have to have it well lit, and as you saw some mobs over there, i, I got to have that well lit as well. So if I put a mob grinder right here, I might have some issues that way. But um, I am I'm bringing up uh, lots of cobble right now. It's going to be built out of cobble. I might make a pretty facade around it, but the majority of it will be out of cobble. But anyways, so 
I can put it right here, or I can just put it out over the ocean. Over that way, maybe. And, and maybe have a walkway go straight across to it. I don't know. Maybe. But, uh... I'm going to think about it for a minute, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am going to build it above my base here, instead of the ocean. I'm just going to have to make sure that is all lit up there, up there, all lit up, right there. I've got that pretty much lit up quite well. Maybe a couple of spawn spots here and there, but I am going to stick with it here. All right, so I need to go up to 200. Hmm. Do I want to stick out this far? Sure, why not? There we go. So 200. There we go. All right, this is going to be a spawn pad uh, mob farm. Basically, um, it'll have areas where mobs can spawn. They get funneled to the center. Oh, well, he just committed suicide. So they get funneled into the center, and they are going to fall onto a particular block where I can then Kill them and reap the rewards. All right, where was the center? Right here? I think so. Let's go over one more. All right, so. 120 and 666. There we go. All right, so this is the first level here. These are the spawning pads. They are too high, and the corner will be water in each one of those corners there. And it all leads straight to here, and they're all dumped down the middle. Um, the spawning pads are going to have a slab in the middle here to prevent spiders. Spiders need a 3x3 three three area to spawn. So... Putting a slab there prevents there from being a 3x3 three three area, which makes the outer area here the spawn pad. And we'll get uh, zombies, skeletons, creepers, and witches. So they fall off, go in the water, and boom, down there. And all of this, this seriously a cobble-intensive um, grinder here. But it doesn't have any moving parts, no pistons or anything like that. It took almost a full, I'd say a half backpack of uh, cobble, actually, for one layer. And it'll be five layers tall. And that will get me pretty good rates if I am the only one on the server. If there's a second person on the server, on the server, um, this won't work. So, um, gotta be on, on my own here. Alright, so I'm going to keep on going up, and this is going to involve a little bit of redstone. I don't have any on me, so, hmm, I kind of need it to get the second level done. Alright, I have to go back to spawn, and, ooh, look at that view. Oh, oh, oh! Not good. I guess I gotta light that up. There we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, I am going to head to spawn, get some redstone and some other materials, and I will be right back. Okay, so I went back to spawn, I got more cobble, I got my materials and all that stuff, and I got the first level built here. These are the, the spawning pads. And I was getting ready to put the roof on the first level, and I started thinking. So, 
if that is a mob spawner, I need all the mob spawning there as possible. But if I have like cows and sheep and chickens and all that stuff around here, that might cause a problem. So I'm thinking this is probably not the best place to put this. I'm thinking. So I am going to move it after all that. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to watch me build it again. I won't uh, be back until uh, I'm caught up there. But I'm going to move it out to the ocean over there. So um, I guess it's as quick as spinning around. Oh, here we are. Look at that. A whole new spawner. So, that is the old one over there. The new one is built over the water. This is 200 blocks up, so there are no mobs. Nothing will be spawning when you're in this area. Everything spawning will be up in the spawner, which is how I like it. And this is the poop chute coming down here. Let's go take a look-see. Um, I've already got the whole thing built. There's some things I need to do to finish it up, but it's it's mostly built. Let's head all the way up. So I got five levels just like this. There we are. All the same. Water going down to the middle. Whoa. So I got redstone lamps. And they're actually hidden underneath the spawning pad over there. So the torches are all on the outside. You can see them there. Sending power to the lamps. Now what I got to do is I got to connect all these torches up on each side down to a single switch. Where's my ladder going down? So I gotta bring them down to a single switch that will turn the lamps on and off and thus turning the spawner on and off. Okay, so I'm all geared up and uh, let's get some blocks going here. Hmm. Where's the middle end? Right there. I think I can reach both ends. Oops. There we go. I think I can just do this. That. Alright, so I got uh, one side done. As you can see, I had to flip it there. I got a torch on the side, flipping the signal so I can uh, get on the work in a row. I had to do it twice for the top as well. So, now that one side is done, I got to double check to make sure it's working. I have a signal coming out, going into these blocks and headed straight up the torch tower there. The signal comes from the switch. So with this hot signal going in, each torch on each level is dead. So I should go up here and I should see no signals or no lamps on this side. Looking good. Last one, dead. This is what I want to see. So I get this side, this side, and that side to do. Okie dokie! So I got her built. Um, I haven't really been able to show it off. I've been having to wait because I can't do this when other people are on the server. It's got to be only me or everybody's got to be in this area, which 
they're not. But uh, so this is the grinder. It got me an on off switch. Turns the light on so I don't forget about it. You can see the lights go off so it's starting to produce mobs. Oops, wrong button. So you see my entity count, 9, 10. We're going up. It should get up to anywhere between 20 and 30 or so. It should be dropping any moment now. There he comes. Hello, friend. So, I got this switch going back here to a torch tower. And uh, I'll show you guys the torch tower going to all my redstone. There we go. So it comes up right there, lights this guy on fire, and then it goes out to here and up. Ooh, oh, oh, oh well. I think I got my boots on. So the mobs are, are glitched now, and I don't know. That's not a lot of mobs for it to be glitching out. There's only 16 there. Break out the looting sword and yaw. So I'm getting my items and my XP. I got lots of goodies on me. I gotta get rid of. Oh, that goes in here. So I was able to work it a little bit, but um, someone came on and that was that. Didn't get any recording done. All right, so. Looks like it's working pretty well. Love all that noise. So I'm probably going to put a couple chests here. I don't know. I think that one might lead to a hopper underneath. And I might put some mass storage underneath here. Where's the mobs at? Only 12. Something's wrong. Should be more than that. Hmm. Oh, I got obsidian here to kind of protect my stuff a little bit. It, it won't protect everything. It when it blasts, it'll probably lose this redstone. I'm I'm thinking. But um, I figured I'd put it up there just in case. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So my plans for this station, more or less it's called, I'm going to put um, an enchanting area here. I got a real fancy enchanting table in mine um, from uh, Tango Tech. I'll, um, I'll show you guys uh, quite soon. And then I'll have a, a mass storage area for uh, books that I'm going to be enchanting. Uh, portal will probably go up somewhere over here. Uh, yeah, somewhere over here. I'm going to have to make this platform a little bit bigger. So I think that will be it for today. Um, next time maybe we'll work on the enchanting station and putting up the walls and setting up the mass storage and all that jazz. But um, for tonight, that would be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.